Do you say pecan or pecan? I say pecan, and here's an easy pecan pie for the holidays. Before we get into the video, make sure you hit that notification, subscribe, and bell button to keep updated with me and all of my videos. Okay, so I have the Pillsbury Frozen Pie Crust. Um, two pie shells come in one package. I'm not going to make um, homemade pie crust. I am trying to make this as easy as possible. So get you some Pillsbury Frozen Pie Crust. Two shells come in one package. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So what you will need is corn syrup, one cup of corn syrup. I am using Cairo syrup. You will also need three fourths a cup of sugar and one third a cup of melted butter. You will also need four eggs beaten, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and don't forget you will also need one and a half cups of pecan halves. I am using Fisher pecan halves. Although I am making two pecan pies, you know, your girl love chocolate chips. That's right. I'm going to add half a cup of chocolate chips to the second pecan pie. And I'll show you how to do that because it's your DIY queen diva in the house. And I'm going to show you how to do this real easy and proper. So let's move all this stuff to the side and get started. Okay, so First, you're going to take your four eggs and beat them in the bowl. That's right. Take your four eggs and beat them in the bowl. Okay, so... We need to go ahead and add three fourths of a cup of sugar. You can pretty much go ahead and add everything. Um, your one third cup of butter. Also, um, you can go ahead and add your vanilla as well. Just go ahead and mix everything in the bowl. Hold up, hold up. Let me go ahead and mix everything here. Yeah, just go ahead and mix everything except for your pecans. Um, so, when you saw me putting that sugar in, I was using one-fourth a cup, so I had to do it three times for the sugar. So, that makes three-fourths a cup. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and add everything going in this bowl. Make it real simple. We're trying to make this real easy for you. It's really easy, for real, guys. And my melted butter is in two-thirds a cup, so I only need half of that, one-third a cup, because I'm going to use my other half for my second pecan pie with the chocolate chips in it. So, um, yeah, so that's what's going on there. So let's go ahead and finish doing what we're doing. It's really easy. I'm telling you, it's easy, easy peasy. And I just added my teaspoon of vanilla, so we're going to give this a quick stir. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. I forgot my corn syrup. So let's go ahead and put one cup of corn syrup. Y'all was gonna let me forget the corn syrup. That's the main ingredient we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one cup of light corn syrup. And in this case, I'm using that Cairo syrup. Let's make sure we get all this out the cup. We need all this corn syrup. Oh, okay, so let's give this a quick stir. It seems like it's a little thick, but once you get it stirred up, the sugar and corn syrup going. I probably should have used a whisk, but um, this is my little Thanksgiving spatula, so I'm using that. So I'm just going to give this a quick stir. I'm going to stir it real good. So let's go ahead and add in our pecans. I'm using one and a half cups. I believe I only have a half a cup here because my whole cup, I had the corn syrup in it. So I'm using half a cup. So um, you're gonna see me put pecans in this mixture three times. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and fold the pecans into the mixture and then pour this mixture into the pie shell. And that's it. So, and you're going to bake this on, make sure your oven is preheated at 325 for 55 to 60 minutes. So, I did about 55 minutes. Um, so, make sure your oven is on 325 preheated okay so after this i'm going to push this to the side and we're going to get started on our second pecan pie it's the exact same way except for you're going to melt your um chocolate chips in the butter so in your melted butter you need to also melt your chocolate chips so i'm just spreading out the pecans to make sure that it's even into the pie or on the pie so your pie should be looking like this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move this to the side and get started on our second pie with the chocolate chip. Okay, so on the second pie, the process is the same. I have my four beaten eggs in a bowl. I'm gonna add one cup of Cairo, which is corn syrup. Okay, so I'm adding in my 3 4 cups of sugar. There goes my one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so here's the chocolate chips melted into the butter. So when you melt the butter, melt a half a cup of chocolate chips into the butter. So here's my um, one third cup of butter with the chocolate chips. And everything is melted. So make sure you melt your chocolate chips into the butter on the stove. And you just give it a quick stir. Okay, so I'm going to fold in one and a half cups of pecan halves. And after you get your pecans in it, you just fold it in. So you pour everything in the pie shell. You bake it 325 for about 55 to 60 minutes. And here are the results. Boy, this looks good. Make sure you cool your pies off for at least one hour. Um, and that's it. You can top this off with some ice cream or some whipped cream. Here's your easy pecan pie. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends and family about my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.